catch the forearm. As you turn, keep that right foot completely flat on the ground. Shift until your left leg is like a fence post. Your left hip is hinged. Turn your gait. A bow stance. Sit forward. Your left leg is a fence post. As you turn, keep the fence post in the ground. The shifting weight causes the right arm to rise. As you turn, add weight into the front leg. Rolling back like you're sitting in a chair made up of your left leg. Let the turning momentum pass into the arms. Circle at the elbows, left hand snake's tongue. Coming out here, one of the things I've been watching is, and sort of joyfully watching the deconstruction of the old bridge, the construction of the new bridge too. I was actually, back a long time ago, was trained as a mechanical engineer. So watching how so much of that bridge, the old bridge is still being suspended from just those two uprights that are holding it. And as they deconstruct it, they're having to put new pieces in to hold it together. and that we kind of seek that in our bodies as Tai Chi players. Like, we call it unifying the Chi, having everything work together in a very structural sense. We have this opening move where our arms are floating out. It's so easy to just lean back and counteract those in a very physical sense, which would be fine. But we could also use kind of an inner structure, an inner integrity and then I don't need to lean back and I can still support my arms just like that bridge that's suspended out there. It's an art of learning to go with and having things work together, support each other, so there's no working against, no struggle. As the energy comes down the front of the body, is your brow relaxed? Are your eyes relaxed? Is the way you use your eyes relaxed? Let them fall naturally in the socket. In general, you'll see where your vision lands. And Tai Chi, I'm asking my students all the time, like, learn this posture, learn this movement, trying to describe it. And at some point it gets so natural that you think it's kind of easy. So I took up the sport of rowing to see what it would be like to learn a totally new physical movement. And that was my initial reason for getting into it. I was way surprised at how it's such a perfect fit for Tai Chi. Your stroke, your movements are one flows into the next, trying to let things be seamless and in harmony with all that goes on around me. It's, I don't know, it's just like doing a form. We move and we flow the way a long river flows to a sea. So there's a lot of flow going on underneath this river. Life is movement. And that's the naturalness that we aspire to as Tai Chi players. Going with natural, natural movements instead of struggling and bracing against. Yeah, I mean, this is one that's just about done. 
I got the blade length right for her and the balance right for her. And um, I got a little fancier on some of the decorations here. It's a very light sword. I've actually had fun making lighter swords for people who need a light sword, either because they've had a shoulder injury or they're small. And I've been having fun trying to do everything with reclaimed lumber. To some degree, I could honestly say Tai Chi saved my life. A lot of um, suffering comes from struggle, comes from, you know, what we would say in Tai Chi is the mind leads us to do things in a forced manner. You know, you can't go with the energy if you're not rooted, balanced, and flexible. And that is a mindset. Dancing in the Tao. One of the things that I think we're coming up against as a culture and a world at large is um, imbalance and, you know, sort of heavy handed relationship to the natural world. The natural world is natural, it sort of knows how to balance things out and take care of itself. And maybe our job as human beings. At least this is what I would aspire to, is to learn how to do that, to be a human being and not be so heavy handed. Mm -hmm. Sitting back and turning, the right arm drifts out. Sitting left, keep turning. Cormorant dries its wings. Arms fall, step the right foot out of the way. The shifting weight causes the arms to rise. As the arms fall, we rise up. 